Um, my superintendent report went out. It's already out of date based on the, how fast things are moving with COVID-19. Um, basically, last week when I wrote this report, we were kind of pushing out to the schools to get a kind of a, a to talk with all students of grades um, four through six or four through 12 about get a general baseline of knowledge of what the COVID virus was. We used a brain pop video that was kind of straightforward. There was also an NPR, what do you call that? It's like a cartoon scatter, I forget what, there's a name for it, but the storyboard about talking about uh, what COVID-19 um, is. And so just that they had a, a general baseline of knowledge there. Um, we kind of, we did that within all the schools. Um, this week we are um, kind of ramping things up a little bit more as, you know, um, as we're getting advice from the, um, the Board of Health as well and from dealing with the Board of Health, DESE, Governor's Office, um, Massive. and Mass Department of Health. I mean, we're kind of on, I'm on a different conference call or video or something or meeting or phone. We're talking on the phone somebody every day or multiple times a day. Um, we're now kind of in starting, well, we started yesterday launching. We started Monday to, to plan to, how we were going to execute it, but the, and I was talking about this earlier, increase of washing of hands and trying to make it additional practice in the classroom. To, and the hope is to do it without changing the course of the day. You know, and so each building is is doing, and each classroom is doing it differently based on. It's not we're not doing, uh, you know, uh, you know, this is bell rings yeah. are to wash the hand, but how do we fit it into the day, logical times, and just kind of increasing that. And the more hands, the more hands we can wash by the end of the day. Hopefully, we have mm -hmm. a, a cleaner day than we, we were doing before. And the same yeah. with our facilities, we're stepping that up as well. Um, we also have created um, a. I'm repeating myself because I was kind of off. The, I was kind of not organizing my thoughts before. Um, you know, basically a game plan for if and when um, we have to make decisions regarding um, having cases in the community. You know, we have to. Each case is different, and I just have to kind of put out there that the school is going to react differently to each kind of case depending on how the community is affected by it, depending on the school community is affected by it, and, and, and working with the local and state um, boards of health to. Um, health experts on how to do that. So it could be as simple as something as we're doing a day or two to clean a building, because based on the, that there was a transmission in the building, and we're not, uh, you know, or not transmission in the building, concern that the person was in the building, you know, and left, right. left some goodies behind, a, a virus behind that we have to go clean up, or to something longer based on whether or not we have to stop the transmission within the community, which would be the reason why we would cancel school. And I'm trying to make that very clear because we want this, the, there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of um, information is not flowing very smooth, very smoothly on this. There's, you know, from side that this is some sort of um, made up scare mm -hmm. versus, um, you know, people kind of burying themselves in shelters. You know, we have both, both sides of the spectrum there. We're trying to take each step as it comes, um, make <coughs> decisions that are based on information that we have. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. But we did kind of Kind of like the whole how I do a snow day cancellation. Carol and I and others are, are on this list, and we're going to go right through whoever gets information, confirming information, and then working off that information to make decisions based on what we need to do to protect not just the school community, but the greater community. And they really, the fear is the greater community, those with compromised immune systems and um, or, or older um, with compromised immune systems and, and health issues. So. Um, you know, that's what we're trying to make sure that we don't become the hub to spread that, to spread that out. And so whenever we have a, a concern about that, we're gonna address it and, you know, um, we don't know how long it's gonna last, you know. The hope is it'll come and go, but that's not realistic. It's gonna, we think it's gonna be here for a while um, as it kind of works its way through. Um, there's a part of us that wants it here for a while so that we can treat those patients coming through. But the big concern is the spreading of it and overwhelming our health services. Mm -hmm. you know, being Western Massachusetts, even Eastern Mass, same problem, increased population, but there's only so many doctors and so many hospital beds and so many, you know, that you, need, you really need to, we need to help stagger it out as it makes its way, I hate to say it, put it this way, it makes its way through the population because it's mm -hmm. going to have to do that in, in some, at some level. Um, and then hopefully in medicines and everything that's catching up time. So it's very, very down to talking, but um, trying to do a positive swing. We talked about it earlier this, you know, yesterday and, you know, um, and we're also at the, at the same time, we are looking at, did you already send your email out before? Did you send the email out yet? We got to get more information. Which one? The Friday one. one. <laughs> the which one? Friday one regarding teachers looking yes. at. Yeah. Yes. So um, 
This is kind of also hot off the press. We, uh, the principals met today. This is a pre-planned day of meeting to look at a lot of a lot of the different things that we are working yeah, on. Yeah. Um, but one of the things we're doing is on Friday, as part of our early release, is we're going. It was a it was a teacher directed day that we have asked to teachers to look at what would it look like if we had to send students home for two weeks. Um, what can we do to continue education? Not a continuation of the continued curriculum in the classroom, but you know we are our mission. In our, you know, you're looking at the underlying mission outside of this, you know, state natural disaster um, kind of thing is that, you know, continue, kids continue to learn and do things at home that tie into learning and be inquisitive and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. To look at what can we possibly put together to keep that mission alive and that kids aren't just dropped at home to go stagnant for two weeks, but, and also to work with me with parents. This is all kind of being formulated. Right. It's still being handed yeah. off to teachers. That's what I'm saying. They're just, sure. they're still, they're still processing it, but, you know, it can be fun. Yeah, I'm looking at it as you know, every, you know, how do we just kind of, you know, Hold keep together. that engagement going? Because we are we are above. I, I'm going to say we're above average district, and I think we have above average expectation of our kids and families to continue. Um, you know, I'm not saying like rote homework. I'm talking about you know reading. You know, yeah. you know, if you know, I think parents as a parent with kids here, um, you know, I want to be I want to be able to say my teacher said you're half hour each day, you yeah. know, and then yeah. it, let's do a little bit of this, or you know, here are some general different ideas, because we have different socioeconomic backgrounds and different, you know, um, access to computers and that right. kind of stuff. So right. with that in mind, I don't want to just not do nothing because it's going to be hard to reach everyone. We're going to do our best to reach everyone where they're at and how we can move them forward if, if we have to do a prolonged absence. Mm -hmm. And hopefully mm -hmm. this will sit on the shelf. Right. You know, um, but it's, a, it, it's there um, if we need it. Well, thanks for all that work. I know it's a lot for everyone. Yeah, I've done nothing with COVID the last three days. I know. I, I, I know. <laughs> Luckily, the budgets were in good order. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Been nothing, it's been literally nothing but that. It has. It has. So, um, to continue.